to The Loop. I'm Lauren Rangel, and here's everything you need to know about what happened this week around the world and in Nacogdoches. After 35 long days, President Trump announced last Friday that the government will be reopened, but only until February 15th. Meanwhile, Democrats and Republicans are still struggling to negotiate a deal on border security, while nearly 800,000 federal workers wait to be compensated. Trump claims that he will not hesitate to shut down the government again or declare a national emergency to get funding for his wall. This week, Apple disabled group FaceTime after a bug was discovered in the software. The bug allowed callers to hear through another person's microphone and see through their front-facing camera, even if nobody answered. Apple stated last Monday that the problem will be resolved in a software update this week. Black Panther won two huge awards at the 25th Screen Actors Guild Awards on Sunday. The cast took home an award for outstanding performance by a stunt ensemble and outstanding performance by a cast in a motion picture. The movie's win marks an important cultural significance and could perhaps foreshadow some of the Oscars this upcoming year. Also, for Black History Month, the film will be showed for free in participating AMC theaters. 200 million people in the United States were hit with a blast of record low temperatures this past week. The extreme weather was caused by a split in the polar vortex that spilled freezing air south. Schools, businesses, and even the post office have been closed. While Nacogdoches was a little chilly last week, it thankfully is warming up. That's all you need to know for this week. Now you're in the loop.